guys it is Monday afternoon it's just before two o'clock uh, Monday afternoon holy cow it's Sunday afternoon just before two o'clock oh my god it's May 27th that I do know um, it's a holiday weekend so Bob is still home tomorrow we're gonna have the kids over for a barbecue we are headed out right now though to go to the movies and we're gonna go see Avengers if Infinity Wars I think Anyway, whatever the new Avengers movie is, we are at the bank and he is, I don't think you can see, but he's depositing some checks here. Wait. So we're doing that. On our way, we're going to walk around the mall, get some steps in and how are you spending your Sunday? That's what we're doing. I'll be back. So... Avengers is sold out for like the next three showings. So we're gonna go see Deadpool instead. That's all right, I wanted to see that too. Hi guys, it's Monday, May 28th. It is 7.02 p.m. I only know all this because I'm standing in front of the computer, see? Um, it is Memorial Day here in the States, and it's a holiday. And the family is here for family dinner, um, I would say night, but um, afternoon. We kind of, we barbecued this afternoon. They're here with the puppy, and we've been just talking and playing. No games this week. Um, they are headed out to Hawaii for a week starting tomorrow morning, and we're going to be puppy sitting until next Sunday. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Two dogs. I don't know. And one of them's like a two-year-old. Pray for me. I think I might need it. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning, May 29th. And as you can see, Lily is here. <laughs> and we're puppy sitting um, until Sunday the kids are in Hawaii <laughs> yeah so far the morning is good so so far um, yeah uh, I don't know we'll see it's like having a toddler in the house <laughs> I don't know how much I'm gonna get done anyway she's happy looking out the front window so we're gonna let her do that I'll be back. So, I don't think Lily has any interest in coming in the house at all. Hey guys, so I gotta go to the grocery store. The gardeners are here. I thought it might be a good time because I have to create Lily because the gardeners are here and We'll see how she does with that if she doesn't try to escape. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully she's still in the crate when I get back, but for those that don't know, Lily is kind of an escape artist and um, yeah, she, <laughs> she likes to try to get out of her crate. So I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning. Uh, crap. May something. It's not June yet. Let's see. May 30th. And I'm trying to drink my morning coffee. <laughs> Lily's chilling out at the window when she's not um, over here in my face trying to get up my coffee or my breakfast. Or standing on top of my chest I don't know she puts both front paws on top of my chest and just stands there looking at me I don't know it's very strange um anyway we are waiting for some uh, workmen to come by for estimates to this morning and I have of course as always art stuff to do I don't know how much of it I'm gonna get done with that one around um, <laughs> so we'll see. And, uh, that's it, I think. Uh, there's always laundry and stuff, so we'll see how the day plays out. I'll be back.
see, this is what happens. I try to like watch YouTube or do something and she's like behind my head or on top of me or something. We're waiting for the contractor to come for his estimate this morning. He should be here in about 45 minutes. So I'm editing last week's vlog and trying to get it um, done so it can upload to YouTube. Um, hopefully I can get it started before he gets here and then it'll be loading while we're having our meeting and walking around. But this is where Lily is, literally right behind my chair. It seems to be where she is, lives uh, when she's here and I'm in my office, which I am a lot during the day because hello, I work from home. Anyway, that's, let's see. Yeah. She just stays, literally, she's like right behind the wheels. <laughs> uh, at least she's not out digging holes in the backyard. I did catch her try to dig one hole to China, so I brought her in. Anyway, yeah. I'm not sure exactly how that's possibly comfortable. Hmm. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning, May 31st, I think. Let's check. Yeah, yeah, May 31st. I was right. <laughs> Miracle of miracles. Lily and I are sitting here on the front sofa. She's looking out the window. It keeps her calm and quiet. <laughs> to tell you she likes looking out the window this morning if you can hear that she's watching the garbage men pick up the garbage I don't know anyway I don't know what we're gonna get up to today it's hard with her around um, to get too much done it's like having a toddler in the house so we'll see I'll be back hey everybody so I created Lily which is always an iffy prospect because unless it's nighttime and it's bedtime, she don't like to be created. So, <laughs> but I want to go out and run a couple of shopping errands and I can't take her with me. So, I've created her. <laughs> I've closed all the doors to the other rooms in the house so she can only get to limited spaces if she does get out. I don't know. We're we'll home. Uh, Lily did a good job. She's all excited to see me. I was only gone a little more than an hour and yeah she did a really good job the shirts a little short for me I like my shirts a little longer but anyway um, now she's stop now she's not gonna leave me alone stop I just went outside you don't need to sniff me at all creation all right that's it for the moment I'll be back hey guys I just took another accidental selfie of myself going like this yeah yeah Anyway, um, I left Lily in the crate a couple times today for once for an hour, once for just a few minutes, and she did actually very well. We didn't play escape artist, did we? She's laying down here on the floor by my feet, see? There she is. Because you know that's what we do, block the doorway so I can't go anywhere. <laughs> anyway, um, she did very well. Good puppy. I... Um, I haven't gotten a lot of art done today, but I did get my heat transfer vinyl in from um, Amazon. So I'm going to try um, some heat transfer I want to do on a tank top. Uh, one of a design that I bought on Etsy that I'm going to try first. And then I may try another design I have in my mind of my own. Uh, I'm also supposed to be working on my Shannon Green Custom Keeper. If you don't know what these are, they are a Traveler's Notebook style notebook cover and they're made out of repurposed billboard vinyl. They're made by my friend Shannon Green. I'll link her Etsy store in the description below. They come in a lot of different sizes. This is one of the small ones. We're doing some collab projects with my design team and my product line of stamps and stencils and stuff. So I need to film some more videos for that because we have more of those videos coming up. And I have more other commitments, too, I'm supposed to be filming. I think we have to wait until she goes home. Yeah. Anyway, um, I did clean off my... Let's see, where is it there? I have this table here at the entryway of my um, art room that has... Um, 
I don't know what you'd call it, but an altar space. I, I hesitate to use that word, but it has memorabilia on it and trinkets from different things. It has the blue bowl is full of the positive affirmation cards I just made on a recent video. Um, well, I just made them and there's a video coming out. I don't think it's airing until next month. Uh, it, it's like a t I'm filming this on the last day of May. I think the video airs in a few weeks. But anyway, there's some positive affirmation cards. And the it's a digital download, by the way, in my Etsy store that you put together yourself after you print them. And um, it's in my Etsy store. I'll list, put the listing in the description below. But I have mine in the bowl here. And then there's some stones and feathers. Whoa, feathers, there feathers. Some... Um, pet memorabilia from pets of mine that have passed, including a couple of old dog collars, some old dog tags, things like that, um, some crystals and pine cones from different things that I've gone on with my husband and I've picked up, uh, you know, little things here and there. I seem to always find feathers in my path. So there's lots of feathers, some from my friend Lisa Swank who owns birds and some from ones that I've just found in my path. Um, different little memorabilia things like that so the, anyway that's what lives on there I did just clean it off because it got really dusty and kind of junky and I kind of you get in the habit of just throwing stuff on there and it was time for some of it to go so it went anyway I think that's it for the moment um I want to try cutting out this heat transfer vinyl but I think I again I have to wait until that one goes home because I need to be able to concentrate on what I'm doing and I can't when I'm worried about what she's chewing on. Yeah, so there's that. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Hey guys, how are you? It is Friday, June 1st, and hopefully I vlogged yesterday because I don't even remember. I think I did, I don't know. It's been one of those kind of weeks. I don't know. It's already 11.14 in the morning. It's just about lunch. I created Lily for um, about an hour, so I have to go to the grocery store. So she's usually good in the crate for about an hour. So she is more comfortable at the house now that she's been there for a few days. I think that's what was going on. And um, so she's better about just being outside, playing around and running around, um, playing by herself, teasing Bandit and his he's in a separate part of the yard. We do keep them separated because they're okay for a few minutes, but she's young and wants to rough house and he's old and can't be bothered. So yeah, anyway. Um, but they run along e either side of the fence and um, they both think that's fun, so that's good. Anyway, I'm gonna head to the grocery store. I did get a little project done this morning that I've wanted to do. I'm gonna have to do a voiceover or something, but I did get that done and I have um, to um, finish May in my Traveler's Notebook and set up June, so I'm gonna film, try to film that today too while Lily's outside this afternoon after lunch, so hopefully that goes well. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Why is it as soon as you get in the car and you start driving, your phone, which has been silent all morning, suddenly starts pinging and dinging and ringing? <laughs> I'm going to go to the grocery store now. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, here's my rant for the week. I don't know if it's my first one or my third one. I have no idea. I worked in retail and or customer service for a long time, almost since I graduated high school in 1981. There, that dates me. I was 17. There you go. You can figure out how old I am. Um, there's really not much that humanity does that shocks me, but I'm still constantly just disappointed in humanity. It's not always big things. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's just little things. I understand you may be in a hurry or having a bad day, but don't take it out on the world around you. Take a deep breath. Try not to invade other people's personal space. Wait your turn. 
and don't be a jerk. And I'm really watching my language because that's not what I usually say. I usually say don't be a, the A word. <laughs> don't be a A-S-S-H-O-L-E. Or as we funnily, on purposely mispronounce it, don't be a, a sholey. <laughs> that won't get me bumped from YouTube. <sighs> you know, I was only running in for a couple things and the people behind me in line were in a hurry or something. They couldn't wait their turn. They were right up against me. They went around me and moved my card out of the way. Like really, really rude. Really rude. <laughs> I just nicer I am, the ruder everybody else is. Is that a word, ruder? More rude? I don't know. Anyway. I don't know. Good morning. Oh, sorry. Good afternoon. <laughs> it is Saturday, January 2nd, and I am obviously home on the sofa again. Lily, there she is. She goes home tomorrow night. Be happy and sad to see her go. She's a really sweet dog, but I do have stuff I need to do that's hard to do when she's around. So anyway, um, I am just sitting here at home with Lily. My husband is out doing a Masonic thing and I chose to stay home with the dog rather than us trying to bring her with us. I didn't, yeah, I wasn't up to that. So I said, you know, I'll just stay home with the dog, you go. So he did. And um, he, when he gets back later, I want to do some more purging, so I'm hoping we can get that done. And um, I have a few art projects I want to try to get on, done or worked on um, today, later today or tomorrow. <sighs> some things I want to film. So my neck is like, um, yeah, anyway. Um... And of course, there's always laundry and stuff. Nothing super exciting. It's kind of a quiet Saturday, but I like that. So anyway, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be having more people in the house um, doing repairs and work. And yeah, so in between when I'm trying to film, I, do, I told them all I need a, I need a week off and then y'all can come. So anyway, all right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> The phone is sort of precariously sitting on the edge of the table. I'm gonna do this here as part of the vlog. I was gonna film it as a separate video, but I don't think I'm going to. So this bundle of things here, I was really inspired by Helen Colebrook and some things she had from the store London Gifties. She had this like pad of papers that were just stay roughly attached together. I don't remember if they were stapled or sewn. Um, that was just like a bundle of um, vintage papers, ephemera papers, and I thought that's really cute. And it kind of reminded me of a couple of things that we did, I did, way back when I was teaching as part of Crazy Island Family, any of you who remember that. Um, there were a couple of giveaway swap videos that we did over there, and if I can find the links here on my channel, I will link them in the description below, so look for them. One of them, we did these little small junk journals, and these were intended to be something that you either actually worked in, or better yet, you could grab this in your regular journal, and this was full of interesting um, vintage and hand-painted papers that you could use in your backgrounds and your collages, and it was just um, simply pamphlet stitched together. And this is one that I did um, that I had left over at the time. And it's filled with scrapbooking paper and painted magazine papers and tissue paper, mulberry paper, all kinds of stuff, right? So it's pretty cute. Then on a separate time, we did these sort of big matchbooks. These are two that I got in the swaps that I did not make. Um, you. This was about the size that we were doing them, but you could do a lot of different sizes. It was a similar idea in that it was sort of a matchbook style little folio filled with uh, papers and stickers and I haven't opened this in like forever, but this one has um, handmade sticker paper in it and it's got images and tissue paper and, and all sorts of things with, oh, with a note. Oh, this one's from Mary, Maridel Abrams. Um, 
And so it's a really cute idea and a cute way to bring a few bits and pieces with you. You could, again, you could grab this and your journal and st sticks in your travel bag real easily. If you do a traveler's notebook, these kind of small things are really cute. Here's one that somebody sent me that's a little bit bigger. Does this one have a note in it too? No. And this one they did, um, these were obviously, it was just a trifold piece of paper. You put your papers in, you put a couple staples in the bottom to hold it in, and then you were good to go. And in this one, she um, just kind of slipped in a doily and there's a tag in there. And um, yeah, so anyway, really cute. Um, then inspired by the London Gifties thing and those, let's see if I can get them on camera here, there, and these, um, and things I've done in the past, and the fact that I was cleaning out and throwing away and getting rid of old greeting cards today. We still had Christmas cards from Christmas time. I know it's June, but you know. <laughs> so I had all these Christmas cards. Some of them were cards that we sent out and they came back returned to sender because the person had moved and we never did find out where they moved to or maybe they passed away. I have this reputation in the family for sending to Christmas cards to dead people because, well, I lose track of who's passed away and who hasn't. Anyway, um, so literally today I took a pile of scrap papers that were in my cart that I was just hemming and hawing about and I cut them up into bits and used the greeting card as the outside. It didn't have to fit within the parameters of the card. I wasn't too concerned about that. And I just put enough in there that I could staple it across the spine. I do have a long um, pamphlet stapler. You need a special stapler to do this. But you could, you could stitch it. Um, you could put brads, um, something like that. Um, you could even just use an elastic hair tie and put an elastic hair tie around the spine of the greeting card and then slip the papers in like a um, quick, easy traveler's notebook. Anyway, I had enough greeting cards and papers on my desk. <laughs> so, right, Oop, wait, there's one more. It went flying. <sighs> so now I have a nice collection of these and I actually have a stash um, of these where these live and when I want to take one with me or I want to refresh my selection I can just grab one and have this little booklet of papers on my desk rather than a giant pile of papers which I do like uh, and I do have a small bin of small scrap bits that don't really aren't appropriate to put into one of the booklets they're like cut out shapes like butterfly wings and and stuff like that um, and then when this box gets full, I need to either purge it and throw things away or put them, actually put them away away, um, or use them up. So I try to use up this first. So then, cause I'm lazy, I don't want to put stuff away, but I also can take this with me when I'm traveling. So I can just grab this box and it's got a nice selection of stuff in it. And if I wanted to, these would fit in here. One or two of, oops, one or two of these would fit in here. So anyway, just wanted to give you guys some ideas of some cute things that you could do. I hope this gives you those ideas. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't forget to leave it in the video. How did I have this done? I don't even know. I think it was like this. And that was like that. So I those both, both may be from Mary, I don't know. That, that was like that in my stash of things. And like I said, one of them does have a note inside. If you guys do send me stuff, it's helpful for me if you stick a note in there. Because <laughs> uh, otherwise I get I lose track of who's giving me what. I'm really bad about it. It's not that I don't appreciate your stuff. I'm just disorganized. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, and you could also, if you save things like this, like I do, you could stick this in there too. Or you could just, if you have the other bits box, you could stick it in there. So anyway. All right, that's it for today. Um, I um, am still here with Lily and we are just sitting back having a good time relaxing and yep waiting for grandpa to get home <laughs> I have a bunch of these too I'm gonna stick them in the box anyway that's it for the moment I'll be back oh, give me this ready there
now she thinks the towel's a toy. Don't do that. It's a towel, pooch. Hey guys, how are you? It is 8.55 Saturday night. I'm in the office. I gotta, I gotta turn off the computer for the night. Um, it's been a kind of calm, quiet day. Got a few things done, but not too much. Hold on, I, gotta, I can't multitask like I used to. Hold on. Okay, there we go. We're in. <laughs> See, so I can shut stuff off. Anyway, um... It's been kind of a calm, quiet day. I did get a few things done, but not too much. I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow, though. And, um, but that's the start of another vlog. Um, anyway, it's been a interesting week having Lily in the house full time. I hope to get uh, back on to my schedule next week and get a bunch of stuff done. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm also, as I said, doing some more purging and. We have some things to uh, gift to people. I think some of them are being picked up Monday, so um, things we're not using anymore. And if we ever need them, we'll just buy a new one. Um, so we're going to work on putting piles of things together tomorrow so that that, that can happen um, next week. That's it for the moment, and I can't wait to pay it forward and gift some things to people who need them because I don't need them anymore. Um... That's it for right now. I can't think of anything else. Don't forget to um, leave a comment, concern, or question in the comments below if you have one. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, the most important thing, go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.